Hey you guys, welcome to another video um, on, I guess, dotting with Lisa. <laughs> I guess that's what I'll call it. Um, I'm starting to do more of these, so I guess I got to come up with a name for them, huh? Okay, so now um, we've got a template here. Um, oh, this was a cool one that I'm kind of working on. Um, it's just kind of a little intro here. We'll see what happens with that one. But um, I wanted, it's kind of a little more advanced, so I wanted to um, come up here with one here. This is kind of a really popular pattern, so I decided I would come up with one that would work really well on Procreate for you. So grab your pattern and let's just begin here. Now, what I want, what, I, what you need to do is when you get your pattern, uh, make sure you put it on your first layer here, and as usual, make sure that you go in and you um, set it up here with your canvas, and make sure you get your drawing guide, and then edit your drawing guide as usual with your symmetry, and then put make sure all three of these buttons here are checked, okay? Just like just like normal. If you don't know, just watch my previous videos, and you'll get it. It's just just check the boxes and make sure that you're setting up your template properly. Okay, now the other thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you get, when you're on your first layer here, make sure that you hit your arrow button and you have to make sure that you center these um, lines, center your drawing guide and play around with it so that the middle part is, see how I'm moving it around here like this? You wanna make sure that you center your dot, right? So that your lines straight up and down match the lines that are straight up and down and the lines that are diagonal um, are diagonal because if you don't do that then they won't line up and you could test it by going to your layer two make sure that your um, assistant is checked just like normal and when you want to check it you want to um, hit on a button and see how well they line up if they don't line up that great go down to your assisted click on it and then just line it up so that the dots do a little test dot that they line up you see now what I did is I just let go of it with my pen and if you just tap what it does you hear how I'm tapping listen I'm tapping down a little bit see how it's very ever so slightly moving it's easier to do it this way than with your fingers so just tap it tap it up tap it down now see how I'm tapping more and more I'm doing it a little extra so you can see it a little bit better and just tap it just ta keep tapping it until you get it um, until it's you know pretty much where you want it to be. And this is kind of an important step because you want to set it up just so that it matches your template just right. Okay, and I'm taking a little longer than I did um, because the way I'm sitting in my little area isn't working so great, but that's okay. All right. Okay, so that's about close enough. Um, okay, so you got the idea. I'm going to bring this down just a pinch. Okay, all right, so now you go back up to your first layer here, and then um, I'm just going to erase my little test dots. Okay, so now you can just kind of begin with your colors. Now what I'm going to do is, um, on my palette that you see here, all the colors aren't done yet, so I'm going to kind of wing this as I go along, but I didn't want to have to uh, do my painting twice, so I thought I'd record it right now, live with you guys, and then just kind of show you how I created as we as we go along but i know i wanted to start with greens so i grabbed here's a green and this is going to be in your docs dot six pattern color swatches which i'm going to give you okay so let's start with the lightest green first and now if you count up here i'm going to go up here in these dots here if you could see how this line here of dots um, are different than the actual design that you see here on this side, okay? So what I want to do is I'm going to um, start off and count them. So I see that there's, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 or 14, roughly, whatever. And I come over here and I look at my colors and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 colors picked. So um, when I have these colors picked, you got you to kind of decide um, how many of those dots you want to make, um, like on your first ring and second ring, just so that it kind of, um, you know, you can use all the, all the colors to graduate down. You'll see what I mean in a second. So grab your lightest color and try to measure out your first dot, okay, and just place it just so that it fits. Okay, now, now what you're going to do is let's, let's do another row in the same color with the same size. Okay, so now we got the base going. Now let's go in and grab your little bit darker of a color and make it one step lighter. So that was a four. I'm bringing it up just a pinch. 
okay and bringing it up to let's see if I bring it to a five let's see if that's too big so I'm bringing it up to a five okay now I'm gonna come and I'm gonna do one more color of the same okay so now that started a nice just a nice little beginning um, middle middle part of the row okay so then now let's grab our third color and let's make it just a smidge bigger a smidge bigger okay all right and then let's grab let's see we have let's see so we've used one one we've used one two three colors so far so let me delete these I'm, I'm just putting them here for illustration purposes because you can't see my actual pen so there's there's three dots um there's three colors we use so let's go grab this fourth color and let's make a fourth dot making it a little bit bigger just a pinch bigger okay and so how many colors we have left we have we have like three or four colors left but we have a lot more dots so that means let's do another row of this same color but let's make it a little bit bigger okay so see just make it a little bit bigger of that same color okay then let's come down and grab the next color which would be this color here and let's make it a little bit bigger okay and then let's see we have three colors left and we have about three colors left i think here so so it looks like we're um uh pretty good you can you can do two if you want it darker on the top or lighter on the top so i'm gonna go with just choosing the next darker color here now let's go one up okay and then let's do the second to the darkest color again actually let's make it a little darker i think i'm going to go with the darker i'm going to make it one size a little bit bigger okay and then let's do another row with it bigger okay so now you see how you've got a nice graduated color look okay and if you want to check it out remember how we do it click on your layer go on your background set your background to black and then you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like if you want to see what it looks like without the assisted just uncheck the box and see now you can kind of see what your painting is coming out like okay it looks pretty good huh how it's all graduating see how nice that looks okay cool so now let's put everything back go to your background set your background to white Go back here and turn your um, assist back on so we can see where we're at. Okay, so now comes the fun part. Okay, so let's start with your darker green and let's go back down to a size here that'll fit this box over here. Oh, make sure you're on the right layer though. Be on your, this is your drawing layer. Make sure you're on your drawing layer, not your template like I just did. All right, so set your green. Oh, that's too big. This is about looks like about a maybe a four yeah about a four um and i'm gonna put a four on every single one of those okay actually i think i'm gonna make it a five let's go back and let's make it a five i think yeah make it a five make them a little bit bigger okay so now we've got that um color color in so let's come down a little smaller, just a pinch smaller, make it a four, and do the next row. Okay, and then now grab a, make it a three, and then put down your next row in a three. Okay, now let's do, um, uh, let's see, we, now you can do the same thing when you have your colors, just count, count how many you got and just kind of guess. How many colors but i'm gonna do different colors like i want to have uh, i'm not gonna use all the greens here and i'm gonna do a little i'm gonna wing something up here i'm gonna do some yellow orange reds and some blues and maybe some purples i'm not sure but um so i'm gonna kind of do a little bit further with the greens in other words not do so graduated so let's go for i don't know let's try this second green color and let's make this so that it fits inside here. So let's make it, uh, let's try five again. Yeah, let's do a five on here and just go across. 
Okay, now bring it down to a four. Okay, and then let's do a three. And you, you know, I'm not, you, the dots are just there for, you know, to help you with your pattern. Um, I'm gonna make actual stencils for you guys. Um, I'm waiting for my machine to come. And um, when my machine comes, um, I will um, cut them out for you and you could place them on rocks and on, on whatever you want so that you don't only have to do it on Procreate, you can actually do it with paint, okay? So um, let's try and see how that works out. I have to stop my recording, so. I better check and make sure that it's on. Sorry, but I'm not so good at this uh, recording stuff. Yeah, it looks like it's still recording. Okay, cool. Okay, so now what we want to do is we're going to go from this green. Let's go to um, like a lighter green here. And I think this was about a five. Looks like that's about a five. Maybe a, yeah, keep it at a five, I guess. Okay, and then and go back down again to a four. It's kind of, you got to kind of put your dots in here. Your four. And then, of course, go back down to a three. Okay, and then keep it at a three again. And then mm, make it a two, I think. Now, you notice how I'm going smaller than the dot up there. That's because if I go into my layer and I turn the assisted off, and then Simba, quiet. And then I come in here and I look at it. You see, I kind of made it so that it's graduating a little bit smaller than it was on the actual template, just because I think it looks a little bit better. See how it's starting to kind of come along a little bit? Okay, so let's okay. go back and set this layer to white. And if I remember where I was, ugh, frustrating. Okay, so now let's go here and let me turn this on so I can see where we're at. Okay, so let's go and I think I'm going to, let's see. Let's make it a another, let's make it one more lighter, a little bit lighter of a green. And let's see, we gotta go, I think we were at about a five over here, if I recall. Yeah, at a five, and then go across. Okay, and then again with the four. And go across. And then three. Okay, and then a two. Oh, that's that's not. Let's keep it at a three. That was that's too small. Uh, mm, let's see. Sorry about that. It's not coming out the way I wanted it to here. Three. And then make that last one a two. Okay, so now we got some greens. Now I think, um, I'm gonna put one more green in here. I'm gonna go with the uh, lighter green here, this this third one over, I think. And let's make that, that looks like it's a, it might, we might have to go up to a six. No, that's a five. Keep it, sorry, just keep it at a five. And then go across to make sure you got your dots across. And then make it a four. Okay, so let's see, we've got to put the four here and another one here. Looks like I'm off somewhere. It gets a little confusing, but it's not that hard. All right, then go down to a three. See, that might be a little bit, I think I'm gonna put it back at a four again. Sorry about that, but you know, you just gotta kind of play around. That's why I got those, made those dots for you, so that we can keep it. Keep 
keep you, you know, on the right track. Now make a two. And then let's go down. I'm going to keep it at a two again for the next dot. Okay. All right. Now I think what I want to do is... Oh, or okay. Let's switch and make up. Uh, let's go for a yellow. So let's go to my palettes and let's start with a yellow. Maybe like this, this yellow here. Okay, and let's go back up to our five and put our dots in. Okay, and let me make sure I put this in your palette for you. So that you'll have your yellow row here. Okay, um, now let's go down to a four. Okay, um, just make sure you do them all the way across so you have your dots all the way across. Okay. All right. And then we'll go down to a three. Just want to check to make sure you that they went all the way across and they did then let's do another three okay and then let's make it this a two i think okay all right and i think it needs another let's do another row um do one more row. So get a five. Uh, make sure it's a five here. Mine, mine for some reason is a little sensitive on the dial. Um, I don't know if yours is, but mine is a little sensitive, so it's kind of hard to pick the exact number. Uh, go to four. It's four across for me. It's four four spots across should get the so get them so that they go all the way around, and then go to a three. Yeah, it's four four times across, and then do another three. Yeah, it's four. Just count four across. Okay, and then let's do a two. And then just kind of put the two in here. Do two at a time on that one. See how this has got a little bit more on that one there? Okay, there's two. And this is a geometric thing, so you got to kind of keep track of what's going on. Um, all right, let's go and grab the orange. We'll put this one here. And let's do five. Okay. Let's do the same thing. And four. Four. And then do another four. All right, now let's do a three. Okay, and then let's do another three. And then let's do a two. One, two, three, four. And do another two. One, two, three, four across. Okay. Um, now let's do another orange with the five again. One, two. If you do it methodical this way, you don't get lost in your design. Because I find even I get lost. And I drew the thing. Okay. Four, four, four. Yeah, I, I'm off a little bit here, but that's okay. It'll be, it'll, it all winds up working out. Okay, go three. Go to your three. Isn't it fun, though? It really is fun. I enjoy doing it. Okay, let's go to a two. And it's like, uh, like, uh, let's not. Let's do, keep it at a three, I think. Keep it at a three. Let me make sure that looks small. No, I'm at a three. Oops. Make sure I'm at a three here. Okay. And I'm 
going to do another three. And another three. And I'm going to do another three. I mean, you could go down to a two. Let's go down to a two just to keep it a little bit more uniform. I'm going to go down to a two. I want to. I like it when it tapers down a little bit. It lo looks a little bit more cooler in the finished product, you know, when it when it's all done on your beautiful painting. Okay, now let's see. We're gonna do some. Let's see what else we got. I want to put some reds. Okay, let's do some more orange. Put another orange row of orange. I mean, of course, you can you can mess with it however you want. I'm just kind of winging this um, as I go along. I didn't. I didn't write it on anything. I just kind of am doing it. So, I mean, that's kind of the way it is when you practice it. You just kind of come up with colors. And you can always change them if you don't like them. And that's what's so great about doing it on this. And this is also great. Like, if you want to do this on paper, um, do the same thing on, on paper. And you can practice it. Um with whatever colors you want first to make sure that you like it before you do one on paper. Um, you know, you can use this as a way to come up with color schemes, you know, and see how you like it before you actually do it with actual paint or on your floor or however. I've seen people do them on their floors and on all kinds of cool stuff. So this is really great, a really great tool to have this on Procreate, isn't it? But the fact that you can do it and make pictures and prints out of it for your wall and it's so cool. Okay, do another two. And do another two. The twos are pretty small, so. Okay, now I'm gonna switch up with some color. Let's grab a red. So I'm gonna grab a red from this palette, borrow it from that palette. That's an orange. Let me grab a red from one of my other projects here and I'll put it in here for you. So there's your red. Okay. And go up to a five. Um, actually, yeah, just keep it at a five. I kind of want them uniform. I mean, we, we could make it a little bit larger as we go up. So that's another thing you can do. You can make this bigger, like make, start making this to six and then a seven and then an eight and then a nine. You know, you can graduate these up, but right now I'm just going to keep them all the same uniform size. I think it'll look good for this particular design. So I'm going to keep that at a five and I'm, I'm going to do two of them this time just to make it look, go a little faster because I know I'm going to want two reds. So just put two reds in here. And then make it now go down to a four and do two fours. I could have done that on the other ones too. And if you redo it with a different color, just remember if you did two yellows, two greens, so, so it's not so time consuming. You could do two, two rows at a time like I did. Um, so it goes a little bit faster. Okay, I'm doing three and then another row of three. Okay, make sure you got them all. Make sure you got your all four rows done. And then I think I'll do another three. And it looks like they're almost all threes. Look, threes work fine for every one of these. So just fill these in with all threes. That looks good. Okay. Um, and now I think we're going to go with, let's try a little, let's see, should we go, let's go a little bit of a darker one. So let's go into classic and grab a little darker of a red, just a shade darker. So go up to a five and do a five. Just do one row though. And then a four. And then let's just do fours. Looks like all the way down. Okay. 
and just do a four all the way down. Um, maybe the last one, on the last one down here, um, I'm just going to take an eraser to make it easy for me. On the last one, I think I'm going to make it a three. One, two, why are these, hold on, something's wrong with this color here, this should be, no, that's right, okay, um, I've got to, I even I mess up every now and then, so let me grab a four here, and then I'm going to grab a three, I kind of messed up a little bit, but that's okay, like I say, it doesn't, you get close enough, it's all good. Okay, now let's go to a two and maybe put a two down here. I, I kind of, like I say, I like the, when it graduates. But see, this dot here is smaller than, than this dot here. So I'm, I want them to kind of be even. So let's make this two. I'm going to make it, let's try a three. I don't want it to be, I want them to look kind of similar. Let's make this a three. Okay, so now we've got a three in there. All right, now I'm going to uh, break it up a little bit and throw in a uh, purple in here, like a darker purplish, not quite that dark, but because I want to go to into it. Well, here, let me let me go. Let me work backwards. I want my dark blue to be really dark blue. So let's work backwards. Grab a five. Grab that here. Let me put this in your palette. Let's go with this blue, okay? I'm going to put that blue in your palette. And so let's go up here and do these end dots in a blue. Okay, now let's go down to a four. Uh, let's see what a four looks like. Yeah, put a four in here. And then let's go down to a three. And then in a three, we can go all the way down like so on a three. Okay. Three. Okay, and then now let's work up and go in here into our classics and maybe let's go into a little shade lighter. So grab that shade there, um, which it's gonna be in your palette. So it'll be, grab the next blue color up and grab a five. And put your blue, your next blue in. Grab a four. And put your next row in with a four. That should work. Okay. And then now let's go a little bit lighter. And do the same thing. Oops, see, I forgot something down. I forgot another row over here. So I'll grab your color and a four and go. I forgot one row. And if that happens, just do exactly what I did. <laughs> grab your color here and get a four. Uh, four, if I can, if it'll stay on a four. Okay. And just come down. And then come down. And then I'm going to grab and make this one the last one, that same blue that we've been using. But I'm just going to make it into a five. Okay. Now let's see what we can do here. See, I make this a five and a five. And four, and if you forget, you just like I forgot a row, it happens to me all the time. Uh, four that looks like I made it too big. See, I'm rushing, I could even see I'm rushing, so I'm sorry about that. I don't really mean to be. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just popping these in here. And there we go. Okay. All right. So it looks like I got them all. Let's see what it looks like. Let's grab here 
get our background color and let's come on in here and take the drawing assist off and let's see how it looks look at that huh what do you think see and that looks kind of good and like i say we i just kind of wung the wung it with the colors um you can obviously mess around with the colors however you decide how you want to make them now in here if you want um you can try to um you know that that was a three so maybe you could try to if you want you can make a little smaller one in there um in these areas because the geometric design didn't exactly work out perfectly so i'm just kind of popping in a little bit you can see where i'm doing a little bit of the details with the the lighter you know make them a little smaller so grab this one make this a, like you know just so that it kind of lines up a little bit now if you want you can even connect these with the connector dot see how i'm putting a little small dot in the middle of those so it depends on how on how intricate you want to get if you want to connect all of these together just grab the color and use your whatever size you want and you can connect these if you want like how i did there um i'm not gonna for this demonstration purposes but i just you can work with it however you want uh to complete your picture okay but this is a really cool template right and you know if you want to put another color in the middle here you can just grab your let's say you wanted to put a green in here let's try and see what that one looks like kind of you can put a green in here in the middle or you can even do um if you wanted to do a, a graduated green you can make a bigger a bigger green like this and then use your greens and go back down a couple levels and make it a little smaller and then go a little lighter and a little smaller a little lighter a little smaller and then go into your lightest one and make your final highlight and if you want you can even put a white in there if you want and you can also do the same thing in here like if you wanted this to be um uh, highlighted you can come in here with your with your lighter color and then make them smaller and you can highlight these if you wanted to you know like that so there's a lot of things that you can do um to make make these you know a little bit unique to your style and like i say you can you know go ahead and you can add um colors in between like that if you want um just do whatever you like play around with it and make it your own little design um but the template is here and you could when you change up the color uh, it looks cool and remember another thing too you can do is go in here with your um, highlights and you can see look at i see how i'm changing it i'm doing this by moving this hue around so this is a great idea for you to practice a way for you to get different colors for your palettes you could start off with one color and then when just by changing these around it gives you an idea of different colors you can use and then if you want to create your own palette like let's just say you like that one then you would just start a palette by taking that color and like save 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 this page and then you can just you know use your finger and create the palette from from the from here so this is a great way for you to create little palettes you know you could change the saturation see how this changes everything just by moving this around okay that's how i made your pattern too like that so just um go like that see okay now now this pattern should work really well because what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this hue down okay and now when you when you get your pattern your pattern is going to be exactly this pattern okay so it even i'm gonna this is the pattern you're going to get that's going to be in your um kit okay so and it's exactly the way that it's set up on my procreate so just set it up like this and it'll be i mean you saw how i made it so this this is going to be your pattern now that you can use okay so um thank you so much i am glad you enjoyed this video let's see you on the next time don't forget to post your pictures on my facebook page okay because i really want to see your work okay ciao for now